visit fortpitch.com for curated content in a culinary marketplace. Hi, I'm Jay Bergman, the publisher of Fork Pitch. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy and really great barrel-aged Old Fashioned. Old Fashions mean different things to different people. Up in Wisconsin, for instance, in the supper clubs, they like to use brandy. Other people that like to use bourbon, I prefer rye because rye has a spicier note to it. The basic elements of an Old Fashioned are sugar, orange flavor, whether from uh, muddling or the, from the rind, and um, your brown liquor. So what we're going to talk about today, though, is making a Old Fashioned that can go into a barrel. that You can barrel age for 30 to 60 days, and you get something that's going to be amazingly flavored, super complex, a little bit sweet, but really, really smooth. We're going to start with this really wonderful honey from Bee's Knees, Spicy Honey. It's got habanero in it. Um, again, that uh, habanero is going to give you a nice top note that, that will rise above the sweetness involved. Um, the reason I'm putting it in into, the, into this cup and then blending it up is because it's honey. It tends to be slow, and we're going to put it into a barrel, so we need to mix with some other ingredients to thin it out a bit. Uh, what I'm going to do here is take the honey and mix it with uh, about three big tablespoons of maraschino cherries. These are not the really weird um, fluorescent ones that you grew up with. These are some really high quality maraschino cherries. The last ingredient is Grand Marnier. I use Grand Marnier a lot in my margaritas. However, because it's an orange flavor, it mimics the traditional old fashioned flavor. And so we're gonna put that right in here, about one cup. So we're gonna add, um, Blend up these uh, three ingredients, the honey, the maraschino, the maraschino cherries, and the Grand Marnier real quick in a ninja here. And as I said, the main purpose of this is to make it so we can get it into the barrel. And that should be good enough. So, one of these barrels uh, costs you about $29 online. Um, they're made of oak. And they impart a really lovely flavor uh, to whatever you want to age. Um, I bought this slow and low uh, rock and ride. This is, I think I paid $27 at Finney's in Chicago for this. Uh, this is a really, really good ride for a really reasonable price. And so what I'll do is I'll mix one in here, pour one into the barrel. So now I'm going to add the extra ingredients, and then I'll add the, the last bottle of rye. We'll shake it up a little. That way we make sure we get some good distribution of the product throughout. Um, so basically here, here's the maraschino cherries, the Grand Marnier, and the honey. And as I said, this is still, even with this other stuff added in, the honey makes it viscous. So it takes a few minutes to get that all the way in there. And the second bottle goes in. And funnel out, plug in. And the only skill that's required now is patience. In about 30 days, you can wait longer. In fact, you can wait almost indefinitely. You want it with, a, like I said, a really amazing, really smooth, very flavorful old fashioned. I'm Jay Bergman with Fork Pitch, and I really hope you enjoy this old fashioned recipe. This video is a Fork Pitch production in conjunction with Midwest Digital AV Incorporated. Midwest Digital AV Incorporated provides audio, video, streaming, and production services throughout the Midwest. Please visit them at MidwestDigitalCorp.com.